how to edit your YouTube channel banner using Pixela. Hi guys, it's me again, MJ, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, please don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe my channel. And please hit the notification bell so that every time when I have new upload, you will be notified. So for today's video guys, I'll be sharing to you on how to edit your YouTube channel banner using Pixel Lab on your Android mobile phone. I will show you how and please keep on watching. To make a banner using Android mobile phone, you need to download the following applications on Play Store to be used. The first application is the background eraser. And you need to download also the YouTube cover dimensions. This is very important. And the second application is Pixel Lab. First, we need to use the background eraser apps and I will show you how. Open the background eraser and click load a photo and it will lead you into your gallery and you have to choose the pictures that you are going to use on your banner. Crop the photo, make it closer to the image that you need to cut so that later it's easy for you to erase. At the bottom of the pictures are the tools that we are going to use to delete the background of the image. I will use the magic tool and I will show you how. You need to drag this little circle dot here and this circle will move and will erase the image. Drag it slowly to erase the background of the image. And if it happens that you erase the image that you need, just click this to undo the image. You can also use the manual tool to erase the background. Drag it slowly when you are close to the image so that it won't erase the image that you are going to use. You can also zoom in the image so that it's easy for you to erase the background. Just do it right guys and make it slowly but surely and be patient in doing it until you're done in deleting all the backgrounds of the image. After you delete all the background, you need to click the background color and change it to gray so that you can see if the image is okay or not. You can choose a number to make the image smooth and then save it. And then it will be saved into your mobile. Do the same thing to the images that you are going to use in making your banner. All the images that you make will be saved into your gallery. And that's how to do it guys and now we will move on to the next one on how to download the YouTube cover dimensions. You need to open the Google and search in there. You need to type YouTube cover dimensions and it will appear and click the image and choose the first one. This picture, just click it and you can download it on your mobile. And it will be saved into your mobile gallery. Now we will open our Pixel Lab to make our YouTube banner. Turn your phone into a landscape mode. Click the three dot on the upper right side. Click the image size. Click the preset and choose YouTube channel banner. Then click OK. Click the add sign and click from gallery. Go to your downloads and choose the YouTube cover dimensions. Just click the check and just drag the picture to fit into the image size. Now we need to click the layer, this, in order for the picture not to be moved. And then just click the lock. In making our banner guys, we only need to focus in this area, the desktop minimum and mobile. It's the safe area to put all your text and your logo. 
Now we need to start our banner and first of all we need to go to our gallery and then we need to look for your background image on your banner. Crop the image that you like and click the check. And then just put the image in the middle of the cover dimension. Just fit in there. And as you can see guys, you cannot see the dark part. So what we have to do now is we need to choose the opacity and we need to set it so that we can see the dark side of the dimension that we need to put our images and text also. After we set the opacity, as you can see guys, now our background image become transparent and the YouTube cover dimension is very clear now and we are ready to put all the text and logo on the safe area. So we will start to add the image now. Click from gallery and in here you need to choose the picture that you need to put on your banner. As you can see guys, this picture is the one that we made in the background eraser so it is very important to use background eraser so that you can make this kind of image to put on your banner you can edit the picture if you wanted to put some stroke on it then you can just choose the stroke and enable it and you can just choose any color you wanted to put on the stroke and also if you wanted to put a shadow on it then just click the shadow and you can see it in the picture just adjust it whatever you want now i will add another image from gallery and uh, i will use this butterfly I also use the background eraser for this and we will put it also in this banner. Now we will add the text, just click the letter A and click the edit, the pen and just type your name there or whatever you wanted to write and then just click done and just drag it in the position you want. You can also adjust the size of it just adjust it in according to whatever you want you can change the font you can just choose a lot of font here and uh, choose what font you want and then just click ok and also you can change the color of the text if you wanted to change it with another color then you can just go to the color click it and then you can choose a lot of color here you can just adjust the color of what color do you want in your text and just click the check and it will change the color you can also add stroke on the text so guys just continue to watch on how i put the images and the text or the logos that you wanted to put on your banner
after you put everything that you wanted to put on your banner then just adjust it in the dimension that we needed to make the desktop minimum and mobile just fit all inside of it and double check everything and after doing it just adjust the opacity of our background picture make it into 100 percent and adjust the dimension and you can save it into your gallery so that's all for today's video guys i hope it helps you to make your own youtube channel better thank you for watching and if you learned something please don't forget to hit the like and share and subscribe my channel and please hit the notification bell so that every time when i have new upload you will be notified and as i always say don't forget to live a life to the fullest and be happy always and god bless us all see you next time on my next video bye